Well, the final time, likely, here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center for 2019. We've got a great environment, as always, a great crowd at the Devaney Sports Center for NCAA Volleyball. Pleased to bring it to you right here on NET. Along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. It's great to have you with us across the entire state of Nebraska as the Huskers looking for another run late in the season through the NCAA tournament. They go outside to member Monet, who rolls it great up by Knuckles, the bump set. Out to Lexi Sun, who goes line, kept alive. Monet again tries the roll shot. And the kill for Nebraska. Great effort there by Sense. But Nebraska just tough with the, sh the aggressive offense already. First two swings from the hard-hitting member Monet were off speed, trying to go off the block, maybe find middle of the court, didn't either time. On the slide, big termination on the slide from their middle, Claudia Dillon, who is just a freshman. Dillon coming around on that slide, they like to utilize her on that slide, and she really does a great job, doesn't have a lot of space between the antenna, but threads it right through. Dylan from Evergreen, Colorado, getting the start tonight because the football middle has been suspended from the team just two games ago. There's a tour of the block by Jazz Sweet, who gets a kill. Back to serve now is Lexi Sun. Let's see who the Huskers are targeting here with the serve. Not surprising, they're going right at the bird. The bird just 6 5 outside for the Tigers. They would love to take her out of rhythm. They go to the bird here off the top of the block. As tries line, that's a nice up by Sense in the back row. And then the touch and kill for the Tigers in the middle. Member Monet will be utilized from that back row. She is not a big attacker, but she's a big explosive attacker. And they like to utilize her in the back row there. Even with three blockers up, she still finds a way to get it through. Black did not close and Sweet hammers the kill. Omazic didn't give, get there and close it up. And that set sets her up perfectly. That's a big swing by Sweet. You don't see a lot of emotion out of Sweet, but there you already you got a big fist pump and turn into her settle. Off the block and out. Hollingsworth Santana with the kill. Dariana Hollingsworth Santana now back to serve. She's a junior out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Just tools it off the block as she cuts it across. Solo blocked in the middle. Omazich was up big. Omazich, the transfer out of Illinois. Right up as they bring Kubik around um, to the middle here. They leave Stiverns on the outside. Omazich, very disciplined and stayed right with her. Serve as long as Knuckles pulls back at the last moment. Miller will serve now for the Huskies. 4-4 here early on set one. This is a Tigers team that finished third for third in the SEC Conference. Back-to-back -back errors on the serve by both teams. The only ranked team that the Tigers have beaten this year was Michigan. That was early in the year, very early on. They swept the Wolverines three to nothing. But in terms of the two big teams, as you see a block by Stevens in the middle, the two big teams of the SEC, of course, Kentucky and Florida, they did not pick up a win over either one of those teams. Had Florida on the ropes, Kathy. It was a 3-2 match that the Tigers felt like they should have won. But it's one of those games where they're in a position to win it and just couldn't quite close it out. Out of the back row, DeBerg gets the swing. They'll use her. Nebraska right back out of the back row. Freshman Cubic. 
Remember Monet, not there. Second touch. Pineapple in. Haynes has that offensive mindset, and we've talked about late in the season, she has really become a viable and very aggressive attacker from her position. And here she places it just right, making DeBerg have too far, too much court to cover. Right on the line, and the ace! Deep corner, great swing by Cubic. Back-to-back lines have been found by Nebraska. Yeah. Working the edges of the court, making the opponent make decisions or chase after balls. Overpass. Stivers tries to put it down and block back. Omanich is there. Omanich is staying right tight with Stivers, making sure that ball popped right back in Stivers' hands. But Omanich, a good blocker, is up there and got her hand on it just enough. Great pass. On the slide, nobody there, but Stibbons knew when she hit it that it was wide. She had a wide open floor and fired away wide. Hitting error in Nebraska right now, hitting 100 here in set number one. And the ace for the Tigers. We now have round off three in a row. They were down 7 5, now up 8 7. Really driving that ball, one of the fo and it really just drops in front of Miller. One of the philosophies of Coach Taylor is we're not serving at people, we're serving between people. They have to make a decision um, between the two of them, and they have to move. And so that's really been effective for them as they've been a tough serving team all year long. Touch on Nebraska, and the kill by Member Benet. Four zip run for the Tigers here early on in Lincoln. Missouri on the road in round number two, leading the hometown favorite. Well, if you go back to the days when Nebraska was in the Big Eight, it was almost, you know, how many games would the Huskers win the league by? And <laughs> this is indicative of that. 456, 22 and 2 is Nebraska's record in the old Big Eight Conference, including that dominating series over Missouri, which they lead 72, 3 and 1. There's two ties that Nebraska had in the Big 8 Conference, one against Missouri and one against Kansas. Ginsburg now in to serve for Nebraska. And the slide again, the tip try, great up by Ginsburg. Back row Cubic, not down, bump set by Fuentes, nice bump set, and the tip by Mimble Manet. Well, there, great job by Andrea Fuentes, the setter for the Tigers. Member Monet does a great job here. You can see Miller deep down that line. So great read, just tipping it over the top and making her chase after it. Fuentes now back to serve. Look at her numbers over here 11.7 assists per set. Feeding that offense. Great swing there. The connection. Schwartz and Bob. And Haynes. Saw that once last night as well. It looks like connection beginning to get a bit better between Haynes and Schwarzenbach. And she sets that right in the gap. Great position for the set. And Schwarzenbach does a nice job getting there with that shoulder on the ball in time. And you set a good decision. Yeah, the block just did not have time to close. They were holding on the overpass. Put down by Lexi Sun. Even at 10. Puff that ball right up at Sun. You know, and the key is there, that tough service. It's not being controlled by the serve receive, feeding up Nebraska's attacker. Good pass on the slide. Oh, Sun shuts down Dillon. Great pass. And so all of viable options for Missouri. And Sun does an incredible good job looking her taken away. And again, I just love the technique we're seeing from her on that outside, pushing in those arms swinging and pushing to the middle of the court. We'll run here for Nebraska and the ace off the tape. Getting the roll there. Really that low flat driving serve. Ah, uh, you see Josh Taylor thinking about it. Time for a timeout yet or not. It's a 4-0 Nebraska run. Out of 
tough serve. They go right at the bird. Remember, Manet with the swing, blocked by Schwitzenbach. Overpass, a little joust one at the net by Hollingsworth Santana. On the joust, it's really about timing. And again, who's pushing last? And here's a great effort by Schwarzenbach to not quit on that ball. He gets up there, but again, second push was by Missouri. And that wins those joust. Down by Hollingsworth Santana. Second touch, good cover there by Sense. Oh, good back and forth here. Overpass down and a kill by Dillon. Both teams really working hard, um, digging balls, staying organized, getting a swing off. Dillon's right there to finish it. Mitch and Claudia Dillon, just a freshman out of Evergreen, Colorado, Evergreen High School. Not a usual starter, has been the last two matches because Kayla Caffey, who was their lead blocker, hitting over 400, was suspended for violating team rules, an indefinite suspension. So you think about going into a postseason tournament and all of a sudden you're flipping out a middle blocker, that could be very disruptive. Has not bothered the Tigers yet in this tournament. Right, and, and again, putting a freshman into that role, again. and it's a big role as a middle blocker. It's a tough position, you get a lot of responsibility. It's hard, the timing, the connections with your setter offensively. She's doing a great job so far. That's a big block by DeBerg, and you see the presence of the 6-5 left side for the Tigers. Definitely DeBerg is a great blocker. She gets up and look at the arm reach over the net. Tough to get by that. Good serving run here by Member Monet. She also served really well last night, and she's really focused in and keyed in on serving. DeBerg was there for the tip. Not down, bumps up by Knuckles out to Jazz Sweet. He tried to go over the block, but it's tough to go over the 6 5. DeBerg and the hit is long, no touch. And John Crook on a five zip scoring run for Missouri will take a timeout. Tigers in control here, up 15 12 in set one. Tigers on top here in set one, 15 12. Got the band here to Lincoln. There's a look at head coach Josh Taylor in his first season. 22 and 7 his career record, replacing Wayne and Susan Kreklo. Josh their coaches with his wife Molly. And we all remember, of course, Wayne and Susan Kreklo, who were longtime coaches at Missouri, husband and wife, and now another husband and wife combo takes over. Molly is the former Molly Kreklo Taylor, the niece of Wayne and Susan Kreklo. So Craig Sherman jumping into the picture there momentarily, a first year head coach as well. For the Tigers. See Sun, is there a touch? No. And point for the Tigers. That is a six to nothing Missouri run. And that's eight hitting errors for Nebraska in the match last year against these two. Nebraska had a total of eight errors. Nebraska's hitting negative right now. Negative 80. Pass that's off and another swing that's long and Nebraska is out of sorts. Tigers taking it to Nebraska here at home. They regather, regroup. You can see a lot of chatter on Nebraska's side of the net right now. Linda Malay did a great job with her serve. And that is long. What you saw, Jazz Sweet was going to loop all the way around to get back on her natural right side to try to get out of that really tough rotation for Nebraska. That is their nemesis, that rotation. And it puts Jazz Sweet on the left side, which is in her offhand side, and they struggle the side out there all season long. And so... And the by Hollingsworth Santana. Hollingsworth Santana is explosive. Big swing there. Really, this offense of Missouri is, I mean, a lot of weapons coming at Nebraska right now. As we said, among the best in the NCAA in terms of hitting percentage, 301. Look at the record and you wonder, how do they not pull off a victory over one of those ranked teams in 
Kentucky or Florida throughout the year, although you know, not many ranked teams in the SEC, certainly not like the Big Ten. Kill there by Omazich, extends that lead now to six. Tiana Omazich, the middle blocker for the Tigers. Transfer two years ago from Illinois here to Missouri. Schwartz and good dig by Sense. Nebraska got a hand out, Omazich with the kill, but no, they're going to say, yep, point for Missouri. Omazich stayed out of the net. Yep. Just being aggressive. The balls are popping up along the net, and right now, Missouri is being more aggressive. They've been winning those jousts, those quick, responsive, and reactionary situations. Look at the two teams right now, the hitting percentage. Definitely Missouri has the upper hand. Nebraska struggling right now to get offense going. They're hitting negative 107. Good swing there by Jazz Sweet. Nice delivery and a decision. Nebraska set a different hands. We have 2014 here in set one. A pass by DeBerg right back to him. Sweet's blocked on a touch on it. DeBerg again and Jazz Sweet shuts that down. Sweet did an incredible job there. She's out. She knew she was one on one. -on -one. And at the last minute, takes that inside angle away from DeBerg and shuts her down. Sweet off to a really good start here, um, making some good decisions. What a tough serve. And boy, Hollywood Santana bails him out. Not a great pass, but enough. They could get a decent set out to Hollingsworth Santana. And she's doing a great job. She's, she's getting line there, and she's been able to sneak it between the block and the antenna. Stevens pounds it right at the 10 foot line. And a little fire there by Stiffrens, too. That's how it's done, folks. Great, great, quick transition. To manufacture a little motivation here is Nebraska. That's your team captain out there trying to fire her team up. And the targeting of DeBerg pays off for Nebraska as Miller goes at her and gets the ace. You know, the pressure, keeping the pressure on DeBerg, she plays six rotations again. Very tall um, body back there, having to control the ball, trying to make her do a lot of things. And we said coming in, they were going to target Kylie DeBerg and a timeout taken by the Tigers. So what is the response for Josh Taylor? Does he go with the substitution and put in someone else in the back row? Is Nebraska, his last three points has been very effective at going right at DeBerg. Well, they're going to keep the pressure on her. And again, if, if they can get her flustered in that back row and those passing rotations, you know, a lot of times it carries over into the front row. And so if they can really get into her head a little bit, so coach is either going to have to make a decision early on, get her focused again, or maybe put a sub in there to, to relieve that pressure from her. Well, the two Tigers that have been targeted all year long by opposing teams have been member Monet and Kylie DeBerg. And didn't expect anything different here tonight from Nebraska. And let's take another one of those, look at those aces targeting DeBerg. They're really just driving it to her, and you can see they're pretty tight in there, and, and you also see Omazich running awesome. across. She's trying to come around so she can be a middle attacker. She's trying to do that quickly, but that low flat ball is getting over there quick. And a little obstruction of the view, but also, again, pressure. Yeah, it looks like they're going to change their back row here. They've pushed her up a little bit, so she's out. Yep. So, so out of the server Manet, seat, Adam. Yep. Sense. And they put putting back in, pushing back in um, Manuel. I think um, Manuel Duran in that serve receive pattern, getting some help. So we'll see if uh, Member Manet now becomes the target in the back row, or you can do drop it short too and create some trouble because the setters having to come all the way across to that right front. If you drop it short in there, that also causes some problems. And at zone five, we'll see if that's where they go. And they do right at her. On the slide, Omazich off the block. And the timeout pays off for Josh Taylor. Good kill by Omazich. 
They like to run that slide around behind with the middles, and here she does a great job catching the hands. At the top of the table, a dangerous serve by DeBerg, and then off of the hand, and a kill for Cuba. Great focus there by Stiverens as that ball comes off the net. Usually you're working to try and get off to attack. She stayed focused on the ball and made that play. DeBerg will stay out of service here in the back row. Go back there. Now out to Mendel Monet. Swing wide and no touch. Point for Nebraska. Huskers back to within two here late in set number one. You can see how explosive Member Monet is, but you can see the foot also of Miller right on that sideline. That's what you want. You know if it's going on the other side of your body, you're clear. That was very close on that line call. And again, the tip try. Great. A terrific up by Miller. And when they pulled inside, Stivers was there for the block. Now they're set up on the slide. Great kill again, Oma Zich, who's been terrific with four kills here in this first set. Megan Miller doing a great job defensively. We just talked about her, her positioning before. Here she is up, and look at that great up and save. Two away as Missouri got the ace. And they went after Nebraska's serving target in Maddie Kubik. So set point for the Tigers here in the first. 24-20. Tiger fans here in Lincoln on their feet. Ace! Back-to-back -back aces! And the Tigers take set one here in Lincoln. Missouri hit 212 in set number one. Nebraska hits zero. And it was back to back aces by Omas each. It gives the Missouri Tigers set number one. Tigers on top, 25 20 in set number one. Take that one set to none lead here in Lincoln. And really, you start looking at statistically, Nebraska hit zero. Missouri 2-12, Nebraska 9 hitting errors in that first set alone. Last night they had 8 in that match, we talked about last year, 8 in the match against Missouri. Missouri's really been consistent, if you look at their offense, very balanced. Homazich with 4, Member Manet 3, and Holling uh, Hollingsworth, Santana. One of the keys, I think, too, to that first set was the passing of Leck, Member Manet. Yeah. I mean, she has, she's been putting dimes up there for her setter, Fuentes. And in the back row, when DeBerg was struggling, they switched out, put Member Monet in the back row, and all of a sudden, she's passing dimes. And I, I'd also credit Member Monet for tough serving. She's right. been tough at the, at the baseline and really driving the ball and putting the pressure on Nebraska. So set number two here. Nebraska down one to none at home. NCAA tournament round number two. Win in advance, lose, and your season comes to an end. Look at statement by Missouri in set number one. Last night, Josh Taylor and his team talked about at the podium after the win over you and I that They've been in this environment before. They were here last year. It won't surprise them. A couple of players even said they were maybe just a little taken back by playing in front of 8,000. You think about it. Missouri is the largest crowd in which Missouri has played in front of this year is 2,200. So coming in last year in front of a crowd of 8,000, kind of shook them up a bit early on. And they can do that. I mean, this is pretty yeah. impressive, and, uh, and you can either embrace it or it can kind of get you a little bit on edge. And, and really, they said, you know, I think we'll be able to be more focused this year and confident. We played very well last night. We are ready. Is kind of the, the message that came from Missouri at the post. Very smart push there by Kubik off the hand of Hollingsworth Santana. You know, she just makes good decisions and, and big blockers up there and mixing things up, pushing it. You just push it into the hands. And it's difficult for the block to have a response to that.
Great serve and again. They're pressuring back at, at uh, the serve receive and focusing on DeBerg. Did not clear the tape from Hollins with Santana. Just kind of out, really they that was a good pass out of system as far as the attackers and what was was happening there. Tough serve by Miller in system though. Great up. In the middle, number one eight got it up. Another great up. Vasquez block gets a hand on it. On the slide, one on one. Stivens not down. Oh, what a swing, not down also. Cubic tools the block. Bad point on a long rally for the Vasquez. Chance to see it goes over the top. Look at that, extends all the way out. Kept Nebraska alive and able to finish it with Cubic. Well, the last time that Missouri knocked off Nebraska it was 16 years ago. That was October 15th of 2003. Nebraska's record in the NCAA tournament sparkling in round one matches. They're 33 and one. Second round, 24 and two. The last time they lost in the second round was at home to a team out of the Big 12 or then Big 8 as well in Kansas State. You and I, yep. we did that game, remember that? that? Game. Remember it well. Tough serve. DeBerg got off a good pass. And then off the hands of Stivers, the kill by Hollingsworth Santana. Block was there, but just didn't close it off or seal, it, seal the net. Here you get a chance to see. Just took the inside angle. Those are definitely highlight film footage. She is on top of that. It looks almost like her waist is about the height of that net. <laughs> Lexi Sun covering her mouth. Oh my gosh. Uh, Stiverance has only two kills here in the match, but both have been with authority. Yes, impressive. Get up by Knuckles. Our pin, Sun, got it off the block, Point Nebraska. Knuckles making great defensive plays, pursuing balls, great finish there also by Sun, using those high hands. You can get a chance to see, just using those hands, using those fingers. Good pass, Hollingsworth Santana. Knuckles goes into the crowd to pull it out. Takes out the cameraman. And they throw her back on the court. <laughs> and Hollingsworth Santana puts it between the block. And they throw it back um, to the pin also. And Hollingsworth Santana finishes it. But Knuckles look it right into the camera. Never quit on a ball. I love it. Service error. Back to serve now for Nebraska will be Haley Dinsberger. Swing from that left pin. Once again, DeBerg with the kill. It looks like Nebraska's block is not quite getting closed either. And so DeBerg, that's a, she already has an advantage, right. you know. And that's just one more plus in her favor. Last year, DeBerg with 10 kills against Nebraska in this second round, but hit just 200. Right now, she has only one kill, as you see Lexi Sun with a roll shot over the block. 
great decision there. And, and you can see member Manet is coming from that left front position, is having to cover all the way across and come all the way to this opposite side to make that play. Even if she does make the play, she's out of the system and can't attack. So a great shot, a great placement. They have taken to Berg out of the serve receive rotation. Overpass there, but Schwarzenbach, who had the opportunity, puts it back in over and out. Back in now for the Tigers is Claudia Dillon, the freshman in the front row. She'll be in the front row along with the setter, Fuentes. Haynes just... What a hustle by Haynes, but into the net on the sun. And, you know, Haynes just never quits, and they know she's going. I mean, they, they trust that she's going to get there to that second ball. So the... But... Gotta finish those, especially after that great effort. Omazik's been serving terrific yes, here in the match. And nice up there by Omazik. Set well, point the basket. Omazik will hit the bench. She's really been impressive um, throughout the match tonight. She's been tough up in the net, but also at that service line. We're gonna have a challenge. Looks like Josh Taylor saw something, maybe saw a Husker into the net potentially. So they are challenging a net violation. Mary Farragher, our R2 down official, will take a look at this, see if we see anything. Well, it did shake there, but I didn't see Nebraska into bottom. the net. Nope. I, don't, I don't think a body. One more look at it here. Nothing there. Look like maybe the ball. Yep. Regardless, the plus here by challenging that is gives a, a timeout scenario for uh, Missouri. Kind of collect themselves and get organized here. Did not take long for Mary Farragher to make the call. She goes over to the Scores table. Let's see if she saw Nebraska in the net. In the net, she did. Point Missouri. Hmm. It was at the joust, is what he said. And you see Lexi's son saying, didn't get it. And she says, yes, you did. We didn't see it, Mary. Yeah, we did not either. Now, they may be. Well, it looked like the replay official was yeah. saying, I didn't see it. And Mary's saying, nope, it was there. Well, interesting. Yep. We'll have to go back and revisit that point. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it either on the replays. Block it to that. Dillon there on the swing of Lexi's son. So let's see if Nebraska, after the serve in this rotation, runs sweet to the other side, and they do. So Jazz runs across court they, to yeah. get Nebraska back out of this rough rotation for them, get Lexi back on the left side, and she delivers the kill. And that, I mean, that's that's just a great decision. Make the adjustments, and, and you have the ability to do that. You just got to find a way. Off the tape, and right at chest sweep for the kill. Just catches the tape, has the right spin. Sweet actually dropping off to get in position to attack. Attempt gets the kill. Sweet's fourth kill, utilizing her on that side. She's been fairly successful taking it around the block or through the hole. 
Nebraska is siding out at just 50% right now. Missouri at 54.8. Over pass. Sweet with the kill. And that is the fifth kill for Jazz Sweet. Ties Lexi for the Nebraska lead. He's with Santana from Missouri, also with five kills. to serve. She had quite a run earlier. See what she does this time. Good pass. One on one. And Sweet gets the kill. Looked like off the yeah. face of DeBerg as she checks her nose and yeah. watch one yeah. more time. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Ouch. <laughs> And sweet right on top of that ball. Wow. The Bergs, just a lot of pressure on her <laughs> right now with the serve received and with that swing. Coach is just checking to make sure she's all right out there. I was going to say, is, I wonder if she's bleeding. Yep. That's always fun, too. <laughs> Three-point Nebraska lead here in set two. We're still hitting a good clip in the match, 255. At the top of the block and the kill. Hollingsworth Santana. Blocks there. They got their hand on the ball, try to slow it down or pop it up to give the defense time. That's that you consider successful block. Sun just couldn't, just too high of a balance off the block. Slide one on one. She's tough, I tell you. Starting to warm up here. That's just her third kill. Three kills, two errors. And now hitting in positive for his stiffens. Omazich. No touch wide. Her second error hitting against four kills. She was hitting 500 before that last swing. Yeah, she's been tough. <laughs> Knuckles chases that down after the swing of the bird. And almost each again wins the joust with hand duel at the net. They put Sun in the net. That was a tough ball. Also, I'm not sure. Stiverins with the touch. Kept alive. Second touch. Good job by Missouri. Mm -hmm. Wide, no touch for Tigers. Fifteen, thirteen, Tigers back to within two. Harry Stiggers with a little stare across the net after the kill. Just appearing in a different place. She's been coming around on that slide. Here they run her in front. And again, just changing that up, putting her matching up on different blockers. You can see really creates a nice open lane for her. Good adjustment. Served by Dinsberger. A little tight to the net. Swing and down. What a kill by DeBerg. Right down the line. Found it. Right over the top of Hames. Well executed. Lexi 
see Sun terminates Nebraska in system. Yeah, good swing there by Sun. You can see Middles leaning and making sure they were staying um, on this slide around the back. Two blockers right up there. Sun still finds a way. Puts him out of system. Remember, Manet got a swing on it, but couldn't get on top. And goes to Love. Nebraska by four and a timeout taken by the Tigers. Home crowd starting to get into it here at the Nevada Sports Center. Nebraska coming back after dropping set one. Back here at the Nevada Sports Center. Second round action between Nebraska and Missouri. Here's a look at Nicklin Hames and her numbers in the tournament. She is 6-1, averaging a double-double in the postseason here in her sophomore year. Yeah, and, she, and she's doing a tremendous job running this offense. She's making great decisions, really dispersing last night particularly, really involved a lot of her attackers in, but just her effort out on the court, her competitiveness, um, she's a heck of a player. Scream every time Nebraska serves, just you know, it doesn't get old, does it? And maybe it gets old right away. That's why we have these headphones on. <laughs> it's coming out of the Missouri band. Yep. Back to serve now is Omas each. Brought back in. Let's see, able to get a swing on it. Ember Manet dug by Knuckles. Back row. Big swing out of the back row by the bird. This is a great decision there also to feed her up on that ball. And when she comes flying in, she's tough to stop. So out of the Missouri timeout, back-to-back -back points for the Tigers, and Nebraska takes a timeout of its own. with four kills, 15 swings, hitting right at 200. Let's take a look at Kylie DeBerg, one of the top hitters in the SEC. Well, and she's tough to get around, but she's also tough as she gets around blocks. This is that high contact point with her height, and she, she is utilized from that back row, too. She's one of those players that finds a way. Six four junior out of Hudson, Iowa, Hudson High School. They originally committed and played at Illinois for a year, then transferred to Missouri under Wayne and Susan Krecklow, and now here in her junior year under her third head coach. And here's a look at the hitting numbers by set. You see in the first, Nebraska hits zero. Yep. Both hitting at a pretty good clip here in set two. Right, both. You know, and the block really hasn't been very effective uh, on either side. We, we do see five for Missouri, four for Nebraska. But the offense is really seems to be clicking on both sides right now here in set two anyway. There is DeBerg chatting with Molly Kreklow Taylor. Molly Taylor, who is a... Missouri All-American, SEC Player of the Year, was on the U.S. National Team, ABCA First Team All-American, part of that 34-0 team for the Tigers back in 2013 when they won the SEC. And now an assistant coach, and out of the timeout, Romazich finds the seam, and it's an ace, and Lexi Sun is down. Looks in pain. And the Devaney Center obviously now very quiet and concerned for Lexi's son. We now back on her feet. And looking at her neck and she's walking very gingerly. Remember that Sun had yeah, a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder 
hit. Just kind of whipped that Nick that looked like. So in for Nebraska now is the freshman Riley Zoom. The freshman of Fort Collins, Colorado, has seen limited playing time as Jazz Sweet gets Nebraska off of that three-zip run by the Tigers. And Zoom will now go back to serve for the Huskers. And a big swing there by Sweet. That tough rotation to get him out of that right away. Tough serve by Zoom. Pulled back in. Back out to member Monet, who with the touch and the kill by member Monet. She comes in so explosive. It, it, you're going up hard, and so it's when she tips that ball. Your defense is really off balance to block as you're trying to hit it. And the crowd cheering because Lexi's son now re entering. They made their blocking scheme maybe saying let her swing. We'd rather be on the outsides and, and slow the outsides and middles. She's now leading with eight kills and 357. And a pass opportunity for Nebraska. And Stevens delivers. Big point there. Puts Nebraska up by three and now four away. Just great transition here. And again, fast tempo for Nebraska. It's up and in hands and out and down just that fast paced great up by Haynes upset sweet Chad sweet right between the block and has she been sweet tonight that's nine for her keep feeding her they're struggling stopping her and the Nebraska crowd back in it now. With the that was sweet chant. DeBerg out of the back row. And DeBerg with the kill. Good stopper there for DeBerg. Nebraska still three away from evening this up at one set apiece. She has been tough back there at that service line, been able to make some runs in that rotation. But that also means DeBerg is up front now. Right. She's in the back. Another overpass on targeting DeBerg. Off the touch, no touch. Point for the Tigers. Misfire by Cubic. Nebraska still two away. Slide Stiverns goes long back. Opportunity here for Nebraska to even it at one set apiece. Two touches support Nebraska. Set Nebraska. a bumpy start for Nebraska but they've responded in set number two taking it 25-22 over Missouri
Take a look at some highlights from the first set, and this is Missouri on the serve. And Omazich with a couple of aces to end at set number one. Right, and they, they have four in this match, but they have been tough from that service line. That's been a focus for them all year. They know you can control your opponent's offense with a tough serve, and it's definitely been a factor tonight. For a factor for Nebraska, however, has been Mrs. Jazz Sweet. She has been tough tonight. She's got nine kills, hitting 400. Really, the blocking schemes have allowed her, and you got to credit Haynes for reading the situation and feeding up um, the hitter and putting her in a great position to be successful. So, not at a one apiece here, Missouri and Nebraska, round two of the NCAA tournament. Huskers bouncing back after hitting zero in set number one. Now, in the setup to 154, Missouri hitting 274. Into this match at 22 and 7 on the year. 13 and 5 inside the conference, the SEC. Been a good first couple of sets, as you said, for Jazz Sweet, hitting right around 409 kills for Jazz. And a lot of that on the decisions of Nicklin Haynes. Set number three. Nick Wood Hames will serve to start. Here's an updated bracket as Wisconsin has knocked off UCLA three to nothing, which ensures that that regional semi will be in Madison. Either Missouri or Nebraska will play the winner of Hawaii San Diego. Hollingsworth Santana pushes it into the tape, gets the nice roll. She's really done a great job tonight. She's got eight kills. She's hitting right around 450. This one catches the tape, but just enough pace on it. Nebraska struggle with some of those balls that have kind of flipped the tape and rolled it. Good up, overpass, Nebraska with another opportunity. Outside, sweet on the left side. And Lexi Sen with the tip gets the kill. It's kind of that soft shot back over. And now Sen back to serve. Just kind of tips it in the hands of Sent. And everybody transitioning off to attack. Nobody stepped up. Good short serve. Trying to jam things up over there. And Collins versus Santana again. That's her 10th. Excuse me, 9th. Yeah. We're hitting above 500. Yep, I mean, she, she really has been consistent all match long. Sweet goes off the inside hand of Omazich and gets her 10th kill of the match. Talk about consistent. Sweet has definitely been consistent and, and played strong tonight. Low flat serve. And the kill by DeBerg. That's what she can do. She gets up at such a high contact point, and she's very physical, strong. Goes right over the block. The touch right through the hands of Hollingsworth Santana, and a kill by Stiverns on the left pin. That rotation, they'll let her swing on the outside and put that outside in the middle, and sometimes run a two, so it gives her a chance to, to swing away. That's her seventh kill. So she's seven for nine with no errors on her last one. She started off a little slow, two errors, but has definitely picked things up. Good up by Miller. 
Kubik tries to push it off the block, not down. The bird dug by Knuckles. Back to the bird again, one on one. And into that call on Nebraska, point for the Tigers. Haynes is by herself out there, so yeah. trying to go up extra big. Yeah, that was a lookout. Yeah. So the bird now back to serve, and the bird has led this team in aces the last two years and speaking out right off the team and the ace for Kylie DeBerg, 45th ace of the year for DeBerg. Just catching that tape. Those are just, as, as a serve-receive team, you just got to react and, and move. DeBerg on the all-time aces list for the Tigers, twice, once in 2018 and then again this year. As that goes off the block and the ball past the end line. The kill for Kubik. Kubik with a lot of power on that ball, but also the block didn't get pushed over, sealed, more ver vertical. Good one handed up by Kubik. Bump set. Touch not there. Haynes, back row, Kubik, near quarter, it is Jones, and won by the Tigers. Well, multiple opportunities there. Yep. Just hard work also by Missouri, great up there by Scent. Overpass. Remember, Renee rolls it in. Great pull. On the slide. The freshman Dylan with the kill. Dylan doing a great job there. Getting around. Keeping that ball in front of her. Missouri has opened up now an 8-4 lead. In the set, Missouri hitting 5-45. Not bad. Sun again off the top of the block. Good up by DeBerg. Number Manet pounds away. And in, Point Tigers. John Cook may be getting ready to challenge. As that looked to be wide, it went off the tape. Chooses to keep it. So I believe our all one Bill Stanley called maybe something different. Like maybe into the yeah. net on Nebraska. And so that was that's when John Cook pulled the challenge back. There's Kubik overpass, tip drive, right up by the Tigers. And Missouri getting to all the loose balls right now. Something Nebraska has done so well throughout the year is really a, been effective for the Tigers. And DeBerg delivers on the back row. And a lot of excitement and energy on the Missouri side right now. Up six points and big swings. Their offense is clicking. One more look at the swing by DeBerg. And Nebraska takes the timeout. Down 10-4 here in the third. Well, there's the numbers for the junior from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Dariana Hollingsworth Santana. Hitting 500 with nine kills. She's really been tough tonight. They've been utilizing her on that right side, and Nebraska struggled to slow her down. And he won the tip by Sun. And Sun has been tipping a little bit too much tonight. Yep. And again, you got to get that over that block if you're going to do that. Otherwise, the block is still in the mix. Point for Nebraska. Nope, they're going to say point Missouri. Initially, our up official said point Nebraska, and now Missouri back to serve, so... The officials will get together here to figure out what the call is. 
certainly fell on Missouri's side in. Bill Stanley, the R1, the up official, and Mary Farringer, our down official. Two lines officials will come in, and they will say point Nebraska. It was down. You see Josh Taylor wondering if that was the player or the ball that hit the net. Difficult to tell on that angle. Stivers now back to serve. And the slide, Lexi Sun with the block of Dylan. Big block there, Dylan. Oh, excuse me, Dylan hasn't been slowed on that slide. An adjustment staying inside by Sun. Serve long by Stivers. Third service error on Nebraska. Both teams with five aces. Grant Fuentes back to serve for the Tigers. That does all SEC this year. Four-time SEC Freshman of the Week. Last year, first team all SEC in the freshman and she was wrong. She's done a great job running this offense tonight as well as throughout the season. Obviously, her average is 11.7 assists per set, so she's been able to put her hitters in good position. That number's fifth in the NCAA and first in the SEC. Bump set out to sweep. We'll go long. Jazz has been on fire tonight. It looks like uh, the single Jazz is showing up tonight. Absolutely, and, and does a great job. She's been taken cross court. They've been given her um, that they moved inside here, and she makes the adjustment, recognizes it right away. With the block. Nebraska back to within two and a timeout taken by the Tigers. Huskers even at one apiece with the Tigers here in round number two. Jazz Sweet good in all ways for Nebraska. Well, a long way from that happening, Nebraska eliminating the Tigers is right now it's 1-1. Tigers with the lead 11-9, but we appreciate the shout-out here on NET. Let's take a look at Stevens. Stevens had a little slow start, had two errors to kick the start off the match, but has heated up since. At this point, she has seven kills on 13 swings and no errors since those first two. So she's hitting 385, but she has had some shots that have been incredible getting on top of the ball and the fire that she brings to her team too after those big shots you know postseason for her yeah. has been incredible well 432 in her career last year i think she hit below 500 in the entire postseason one time and mm -hmm. here is her numbers tonight and as you said she had those two early errors the hit wide on both the cross court and down line Outside of that, she's come back here and sets two and three. And with authority. I mean, some of those shots have just been still. A good serve there by Hames, making the bird come take it. It leads to the pitch shot by Linda Monet on the block by Schwarzenbach. Great job again with a strong shoulder. She goes up, and even if her shoulder, she isn't closed, she goes up hard and stays focused. Chibot got hands on it again. Nice work, Sun. Fires away that time. And they're right back to her again. Blasts way off the top of the ball. There's the kind of swings they're looking at it for Lexi Sun. Just great adjustments. Everybody knew the ball was going over there. It was coming right back to her. Here she takes that hard, sharp angle. You see that wrist away. Thumb goes down and works the in inner side of the block. Nebraska last serve targeted DeBerg. See if they go right back to her again. And they go short serve there, not there. 
Long set out to Sun. Tools the block and Sun back to back kills. Great shot there that balls a little inside again. She's moving, she's heavily involved in that and really having to stay balanced. Great shot off the outside hand. Nebraska on a six to nothing run. And the ace. Just a great change in serving strategy here. Dropping it short. They've been pushing and, and a lot of pressure on DeBerg, driving it back at her here. It's a little short ball, making her move forward or somebody else step in. 22nd ace on the year for Hames. And again, they rotate DeBerg out of the service receive. So Nebraska goes to member Manet, and then outside to Hollingsworth, Santana not down. Member Manet will get a swing. Schwartz and back. Big block by Kelly. What a stretch here by Kelly Schwartz and back. And even a couple smiles out of the young lady. He's very focused. Doing a great job right now. Crowd into it here in Wicken. Tigers with one timeout left, not taking it here. Despite the 8-0 Nebraska run, the crowd back into it here in Lincoln. Member Manet, roll shot down. Oh, she's been so effective with that roll shot. Well, she goes up so big. You know, that's what key, it sets you up, and then she's been swinging big. Just great decisions for her to take that tempo off. She comes in just as hard. She just has such good control of the ball. Member Manet, 5-8. Outside hitter for the Tigers, but very effective. Jazz sweet. Good swing. And over the line is going to be called by Hollins with Santana, who had stepped on Jazz Sweet's foot. Jazz pointed out right away. Officials caught it as well. Here we get a chance to see it again. That's what was it. It wasn't Hollingsworth Santana. It might have been Dylan. I think it was Dylan. Yeah. The bird into the block. Cubic. Not down. Back one on one. Tip. Sent back over by the bird. Trying to roll it into the middle. The bird's out, so they've got to go back. Three ball here for Nebraska. Nearly lost it. Sweet. Swing by Sweet, the block doesn't close. And Sweet with 12 kills on the night. Talk about just great response there. Knuckles pops up. Nebraska staying organized, but Sweet has been unstoppable. 12. Hitting 429 right now. Slowing it is DeBerg who comes up big with the kill. And she can do that. So <laughs> that's what she's done all season long. Well, she likes it when it's off the net a bit. Has room to maneuver. Look yeah. at the block. Gets her a lot of chances to drive in. Schwarzenbach tipping in the middle. What a great stretch for Schwarzenbach right now. She's making strong moves and playing aggressive. You know, you can just read the defense. Here's that open area. She lines it right in there. And again, another person in the offense. Great job by Hames to give it to her. Into the net called on Nebraska. That violation. Tigers back within three. Stivrens reaching up, really trying to reach over. Serve long for Hollis with Santana. Gradually, the numbers on both sides here have come increasingly closer. Missouri now hitting 239, Nebraska 222. Nearing the end of set three here in Lincoln. Service errors, the Tigers with seven. 2-3 for Nebraska. Tough serve there. Member Manet able to get it up. And DeBerg with another kill from the left side. And DeBerg starting to warm up on that left pin. That's 10 kills now 
for Kylie DeBerg. She's got Hames over there, the smallest blocker on the Nebraska squad in front of her in that rotation. Tough serve, handled well by Sun. And Maddie Cuban gets the touch and the kill. She has well handled that ball, very good and aggressive. Nice big swing. He's going to go back left on the serve. Right where DeBerg is. Inside that back line. Good swing by Member Manet. She's just so explosive. Uh, she's fun to watch. And as you talk about, just a 5'8 attacker. But look how high she elevates. She's going against Haynes. Gets that outside finger. Stibbons at the touch of Dylan Stibbons with eight kills. Nebraska the first to 20. He's back into serve comes Densberger. She's in the front row, and the blockers went with the attackers in the front row. Tigers up for the fight here tonight in Lincoln. One by just three. There was a touch, and Sun picks up the kill. A little more aggressive in these last few swings for Lexi Sun, as she has 10 now on the night. for Nebraska and they lead at 22 17 here in the third three away from going up two sets to one ace cards out and so are the Huskers tonight another sellout crowd here at the Devaney Sports Center this team has led the nation in attendance for last 10 plus years. three to four hundred of those a night especially on a night like tonight when everything is on the line when you advance lose you go home there's this program that has been a national powerhouse five ncaa championships 15 appearances in the semis nine appearances in the championship Five and four in those nine appearances. One of those losses just last year to Stanford. Nebraska's theme throughout this year is great ball. Get back and what hustle there. Now it's hustling back and get organized. For Hames rolled over, kept alive by Cuban. Another three ball for the Tigers. Bump set. Remember, Monday will get a touch and got it down. Big point for the Tigers. As that might have brought the roof down here. Right there. And a great decision there. You guys got Never Monet. Everybody's scrambling, getting back to position. 
position, just sending it over, and, and as she tips it over, everybody is just in a scramble. Take a timeout at 24 22. Crucial point of coming here in set number three. And really just about focusing, breathing, relaxing. Those are the things they've talked all year that have been really important for the Huskers to get through and again play their best. They also talk a lot about trust our training. Well, we talked earlier about the slow start for. Nebraska's All-American middle blocker Lauren Stibbons. No kills, a couple errors in her first three swings. But since then, Kathy, six kills, no errors in her last eight swings. Outside of that last error in the net, and she came down a little too aggressively. And it wouldn't surprise if that's the play being drawn up here. If Nebraska's in system, get it to the All-American. Look at the uh, teams of the Big Ten who are in the tournament. A couple have eliminated already. The Illini lost 3-2 last night. Michigan has also been eliminated. Wisconsin won over UCLA and has moved on to host the regional. Nebraska tied 1-1 here. Saw the other teams still alive under the Big Ten Conference. Important point here. For both teams. Missouri would love to get to within a run of sending it to extra points. The basket can close out here. Set point number three.
since Dudley. John Cook, net violation. Coach Cook grabbed the green card, and the challenge is on. A successful challenge means Nebraska wins set three. Pretty big moment here. Mm -hmm. Let's get a chance to look. That's what they're looking at right there. Was there a touch? a touch it would have been on the far pin yeah. on the third hit by Missouri of that rally or three hits prior to the end right that's there. the one yep. was there a touch there difficult to tell as you say that view didn't give us a good look because it was the ball Arm. That, based on what we've seen so far it would be difficult to change overturn Look at Missouri getting to all of these yeah. balls. I mean, DeBerg coming from yeah. the left side all the way across. stand based on what we've seen that one either I just, nope. I just don't see it and 
we saw from the other replay, the far end did not look like there was a touch. Just wait. if there was, it's uh, not clear enough on video to be able to overturn the call. It would have been that first one. That one's a we had a good, really clean look there, and, and I just. So the point stays with Missouri. Santana. 
And she has definitely capitalized on her opportunities. One air tonight, 11 kills, 290. Wow. have had opportunities and served into the net. In for Missouri into the back row. First entry into the game for Katie Turner, the sophomore out of Pepper, Colorado, in the back row to receive and they'll go right at her. Good pass. Jazz Sweet, what a night for the Nebraska right side. 13 kills hitting 417, none bigger than her last two. Well, but also her block. She's got five blocks. That last one to finish set number three with that big block. She's just been making great adjustments. She is being confident and aggressive. That's exactly what it's all about. There are the numbers for Sweet. That, by the way, the most extra points in a postseason match in the 25-point rally scoring era for Nebraska. The most ever, you have to go all the way back to 2004 when it was 35-33. Nebraska over USC in set one. Well, between the time out there on the bench of Missouri, both... Well, two players yeah. for the Tigers. Remember, Manet was ha was getting wrapped up as well as Kylie DeBerg. And remember, Manet looked like she might have tweaked an ankle or a knee or something. And here's a look, as you see, clearly in pain. And you see DeBerg ankle got taped up. Yeah. And the knee is what we're talking. She came down and landed um, on a big swing earlier. And I know I just kind of noticed her body as she sat down on that. Um, so she maybe tweaked it a little bit. And even after being taped up as she got back on the floor, there was a noticeable hit for the Missouri standout. What a upset. <laughs> Great up there. The bird with the up. Tried to free ball over the end of the just a communication piece there. Great up there, though, by DeBerg there. Just needed to talk with her teammates on that last contact. series in that last third set doing some good things so maybe making some adjustments and some, finding some consistent patterns great news Collinsworth um, Santana with 
was sitting there. She knew the ball. She was in, got herself in great position to set up that block. But Kubik does an outstanding and still finds a way to tool it off of her. Hollingsworth Santana with the kill off of Nebraska's block. For Hollingsworth Santana, that is her 12th. And she's hitting better than 450. 478. Aggressive up at the net. Balls that are popped up there, they throw them back quick. They're swinging at them. Great job there by uh, that was Omazic sending it right back. The bird off for the top of the box was blocked. Three nothing Missouri round. Again, Sense was back about 12 foot line, and Cuba keeps it right in front. Right on the swing, no touch point. Nebraska, but that looked very close yeah. to the line on the swing by Hollingsworth Santana. I was thinking it might have been in. Rare air in match to, so far for her. Only her second. She's so physical. And maybe DeBerg, too, not getting up quite as much. We saw him taping that ankle. And she's maybe not getting that explosive explosion up as well. Her third hitting error of the match. And Flu Flu Fluente is, is really trying to spread it out, trying to find some way to get away from Stiverance. Tough pass there from Sense. Kept alive by Nebraska. Good reaction. Santana, again, always with Santana down on the tip. That ends Nebraska's 5 to nothing scoring run. And Santana making changes. And that, that's what great attackers do. They mix it up. She's had a couple errors, so here she changes it up. She knows what the defense is and goes to an open area. Push what a back. push. <laughs> Just a great set there by Nicklin Haynes. I mean, she's pulled all the way to the left front, and you can see Stiverens and, and the... Um, Pulling that blocker with her. A steady hand of Jazz Sweet. That did not clear the net on the swing by Kobe And a timeout taken by the Tigers down here in set number four, 10-5. Huskers survive a thriller in the third, lead it by five in the fourth.
We're back at the Vanity Sports Center, Creighton and Minnesota. Not at one in second round action up in Minneapolis. Big Ten team versus Nebraska team, Creighton and Minnesota. And the Jays have it even at one on the road. I mean, the bigger news tonight is that Pittsburgh has lost. Pittsburgh lost in five to Cincinnati, so one of the top eight seeds. And it looks like if Penn State would continue to win, and they did win, Penn State will now host because of the loss by Pittsburgh. Cubic, very smart for a young freshman up there that shot pushes it off the hands. That's her 10th kill in the match. On the slide, Stiffens is wide. Back to back points for the Tigers. Into the net. That's the 12th service error for the Tigers. That's a lot of points given away, and they've been we've seen some at criti critical points, particularly in set number three. Two kills ago, and what we thought was a kill by Cubic, it was a center line violation, so point went to Missouri. Which... No touch. Swing is long. Another hitting error on the Tigers. So the hitting errors begin to rack up now on the Tigers' side yeah. of that, and they were just flawless and playing so well through those, especially first two sets, but really the first three. And right now they're hitting negative 176 in set number four here. So, yes, dramatic difference. Deborah Bidet on that left side with the kill. line they've been given her line and, and she's delivering and the ace. They're going after cubic well miles each with the kill that's five aces for her that's a career high for almost each She's been tough. She, they have scored a lot of points out of her rotation. 13 for Omas each at the service line. Those five aces? Yeah. Wow. Drudick in to serve there for Nebraska. And the Tigers are able to side out. Member Manet with the touch. And Andrea Quintre is now back to serve. The basket by three here in this fourth. Leading it two sets to one after a back at 32 to 30, set number three. Sends it back over. Nebraska into the net on the block of Hollingsworth Santana. I think it's Schwarzenbach. Nope. Sun. Schwarzenbach was off balance. I thought maybe it was her. Or the sun reaching. for Nebraska. John Cook wants a timeout as Nebraska having a difficult time passing right now as well. It's been a struggle here in set number four. They lead it two sets to one here in second round of the NCAA tournament from the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. So we'll keep it here at the Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. We are in set number four. Nebraska on top two to one leading here in the fourth 13 to 12. 
hitting percentage over the last four points has gotten significantly better. Tigers were hitting negative 170, now hitting 048. Nebraska at 091 here in the fourth. C-Sets two and three went the way of the Huskers despite getting out hit in set number three. Currently being out hit in the match as well, 219 to 211. Missouri's offense has really been consistent this last set, though, as they came out that loss in set number three. A little bit shaken. It seems like it feels like they're settling back in here. Nebraska took that last time out. Missouri on a three to nothing scoring run. said there was a touch. Nebraska is challenging a touch on the play. Yep. Yep. There Left we go. ring finger just barely gets it. Great camera shot. Wow. <laughs> what a crew. What a great shot. <laughs> yep. Guys in the truck, the ladies in the truck. Wow. at that first replay and it should not take Mary Farragher too much longer to make this call. Touch on Missouri will reverse the point. Nebraska will be up 16 to 12 up by four here in set number four. So in the NCAA tournament you know from this point on you're not going to have any easy <laughs> matches right? Nope. <laughs> but is this the kind of match you want in round number two? Well I uh it doesn't, heart stoppers? It, it doesn't hurt, you know, I, again, a lot of times getting through this first first couple rounds um, gets you focused and, and it makes you think this is what we're seeing every night. We're going to have to be sharp. So they'll make the change here. trusting each other. Coaches trust their players also on those situations.
soon as here. Maxi Sun now serving for the Huskers. And look at the service errors. 14 for the Tigers. And you certainly want to serve Nebraska tough. It's the way to win here in Lincoln, but 14 errors makes it tough. And just a sweet out of system. One-handed set. What a set by Hames. <laughs> well, and a great dance between the two of them. Sweet gets out of the way, lets Hames do what she does best, is run the offense. And then she controls the shot. She's been swinging big. This is the first off speed we've seen from her. The defense is back, dug in hard. I missed it the first time. It was a bump set. Looked like maybe she, from my angle, had grabbed it with one hand. Great bump set by Hames. Is there anybody better on the bump set? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Incredible. Nebraska's sophomore setter named all Big Ten earlier this week, as were two other Huskers. First team all Big Ten for Lauren Stibbons, Nicklin Hames, and, of course, Lexi's son. Second first team all Big Ten for Stiffens, who is unanimous. And a first Big Ten all conference honor for Lexi Sun. Of course, her freshman year, she was first team all Big 12 for Texas. And also a first first team honor for Haynes. Yes. We made the Big Ten all freshman, freshman. team last year. And as long as we're naming off the honors, we should mention the Big Ten freshman of the year, Maddie Kubik. And there's a look at it. Kinsey Knuckles also made the all-freshman team, but freshman of the year, Maddie Cubic. I mean, she had some competition. Absolutely. I mean, this Big Ten, the league really had some outstanding freshmen coming in. And so, but I think just her consistent play, her poise, she's playing six rotations, um, and the things that she's done um, have earned her that honor, and coaches agreed. So the Tigers took that last time out down by five here in set number four. Hitting percentage is very even now for these two teams. Nebraska hitting 234 in the match. Tigers 236. Just a side note, Nebraska has not won a match this year in which they were out hit. They are 0-4 in matches with teams who have out hit them. And currently, we're pretty even. Right. <laughs> so it can go either way. Nebraska, though, his attack has really come around since that set number one. They had nine attack errors in set number one and ten now in sets two, three, and four up to this point. Chess sweet. You watch that fall right in front of them. Uh, well, there's going to be a challenge here because that was clearly in. Jazz knew it. She threw her head back. Jazz like, oh, I let it drop, and then the officials called it out. And the whole Missouri squad is going, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's watch this again. Tip, and Jazz watches it fall right on the line. All it has to do is catch a part of that yep. line. She puts her foot right on that line so she knows where she's at. Say neither of the last two have been conclusive, but it certainly looks like it hits the white line, right? Right. Let's see if this gives us a better idea. She, sure she's blocking our view away. from this one, yeah. I think, for us. But here we go. There it yep. is. Yep. Right on the line. Perfect. That's the, That's the shot. Tell you what, NET has come up with the shots tonight, right? I tell you. Crew has done an outstanding keep, job. Yeah, key part in this match. You know, they gave a point to Nebraska earlier on the tip, and they take it away. <laughs> One here. Well, and the key is about getting it right, you know, and so that's the purpose of all of this. Tell that to 8,000 fans. <laughs> I know. They all wanted always to go from the Husker way. It was down. Point for the Tigers. So Riley sets to serve now. Two and four by the Tigers. Good pass 
Pass by Sun. Jazz sweep. Good up by Sense. And a nice roll by Hines with Santana. They've been quiet over the last set. She certainly had a big earlier first and second set. 15 kills now for Hines with Santana. Just a great decision, you know, going in that roll shot, that dunk. Here is Kubik off the top of the block. Well, nice weight by Kubik. Timed it up. Well, and she gets off so she can see it. She gets herself in position to be able to take a strong approach to it. Um, and then she's really done a great job tooling. I mean, Hollingsworth Santana has struggled um, and frustrating because what do you do? <laughs> in terms of challenges, both of these teams still is Bobby Kubik puts that down off the overpass. Both teams have one challenge remaining. Each coach has won one of their challenges. Are, are you in favor of coaches getting a challenge back if the challenge is successful? You know, I don't know. I've thought about it. Again, it's, it stops play, creates a timeout. You know, that, those are the only negatives about it. But um, I don't know that it's necessarily a bad idea either. So I'm, on the, again, I'm on the fence. Once again, not the fence. Yeah, Stiverts with the swing there, puts the basket four away from the match here in round two. <laughs> Sweet, just as happy as Stiverts was for that kill. Challenge will be used here by Josh Taylor, who thought that was in. Missouri is challenging. Maybe a net violation. Yep, yep. Challenging. You saw the signal by Mary Farragher signaling net. Thought Nebraska was in the net, but as they look at the net, they will also be able to look at in and out at the same time and touch. Net touch in out. And there was no timeouts left for Missouri. So, regardless, they get a timeout here with this challenge. Difficult to tell by that angle. Here's another look. Here's the near camera. Clean. Yep, doesn't look like there's a touch there. Like I said. And let's see if this is in or out on this angle. Clearly out. Right. Yep. Let's see the black court in between the ball and the white line. So we believe this one will stand. And Nebraska will be three away from the match and three away from winning it. Three sets to one. Decision has been made. So still point Nebraska, and that is the final challenge for the Tigers. Nebraska with one challenge remaining. So Kinsley Knuckles back to serve. Missouri also out of timeout, so it's really now up to the players. You also see Nebraska has kind of creeped up and took it over that hitting percentage. They're 250 to 235 in Missouri. And that will just increase after the kill by Jazz Sweet, and that is now 17 kills for Jazz. Santana now back to serve Nebraska. 
two away from advancing in the NCAA tournament. And Stevens shot at Hollingsworth Santana and Boyd. She quickly curled back after taking that right in the nose. Ooh. Stevens. Stevens uh, acknowledging. Yep. And that ball, we all know the velocity that's on that ball. That, it's tough. Match point for Nebraska. Miller to serve. where they will face the winner of San Diego or Hawaii. Could be a rematch of an earlier game as the Nebraska volleyball team makes the, the rounds here, thanking the fans at the Nevada Sports Center. Kind of the tradition, that last yep. home match. And what great fans we do have here in Nebraska. Always well, kind of that extra player. Let's go down now. John Cook is joining us down on the floor. Coach, talk about set number one. It looked like Missouri came out playing very fearless early on. They were playing great. Uh, and we were a little bit uh, probably too excited. Uh, and just uh, we, we weren't very good. But Missouri was playing great. They're a great team. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with them. They gave us fits. We had to dig down really deep tonight. It was a great match. And I told our team it was going to be a battle. and uh, But our crowd being home probably made a huge difference tonight. Talk about incredible jazz suite tonight. 17 kills, one shy of her career high, six blocks. She was just tough tonight. And Hames really fed her up and did what she needed to do. Yeah, Nicklin set great. When we got her the ball, Nicklin set great. She's mm -hmm. last two matches, she set really well. And, uh, uh, but, you know, when Jazz is going, it makes us, it makes us really good. And, uh, I mean, again, she had a big responsibility trying to stop their left sides. Those are two physical left side hitters, and she did a really nice job. John, thanks for joining us. Okay, thanks, guys. That is Nebraska head coach John Cook. We appreciate him joining us as let's take a look at the aforementioned Jazz Sweet 17 kills. And, <laughs> big block there, too. Yeah, she, she just had a, a very complete match tonight. And as, as Coach Cook said, she was going up um, against some tough blockers, uh, our hitters and blockers as well. And she turned out with her A game tonight. Six blocks for Jazz Sweet. She also had 17 kills on a terrific performance. And she joins us now. Jazz, congratulations. What did you and Nicklin have going so well tonight? Um, definitely just chemistry and putting out there what we practiced all week after uh, the first round last night. So we definitely went in, and it was a huge team effort, and everybody hitting well opened me up, and I was able to do what I was able to do tonight. Talk about, again, set three, that pivotal set three, that challenge, and, again, how everybody stayed focused and, st and stayed calm and pushed through that one. 
Uh, yeah, for sure. We knew we were battling hard, and we knew we were really going to have to fight. So that was definitely a key moment, and it definitely gave us a lot of momentum to keep pushing on to the fourth. Jazz, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on a great night. Yeah, thank you. Great night.